everyone, I'm Tatiana Deravanesian and welcome to Dream Living LA. On today's episode, I'm going to be touring one of the newest constructions in Encino. The property details on this brand new construction are just a little under 11,000 square feet of livable square footage and the property is spread over almost half an acre of lot space. It's spread out gorgeously. We have incredible views, which we'll be getting to in a little bit. We've got six bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, basketball court, guest house, a lot to see. Before we go inside and tour this gorgeous modern new estate, I want to thank the listing agents, Dennis Chernoff from the Chernoff team and Adi Liviatan from the Liviatan group, as well as the developer for allowing us to tour this home today. We're in front of the house. It's located on a very, very quiet street on Royal Oak Place and we're in a cul-de-sac. So unless you live here, you are not driving through to this property. Behind me, you see this brand new construction we were talking about earlier. So let's go up the stairs and check out the house. As we walked up the steps of the property, I have to say, really pretty landscaping. The property from the front is very unassuming in that you don't think there is over 10,000 square feet of house here. It's quite disguised on the front, beautifully landscaped, and we have olive trees that lead you up to this beautiful oak door. I'm gonna guess it's about, I don't know, 10 feet high. So let's go in. Hi, Adi! Hi, how are, how are you? you? It's so good to see you. Good to see you too. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us today. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. House. Oh my God, this I'm is so, so incredible. You're here. Oh my God, amazing. It's beyond incredible. Hold on, I need to take it in for a second because when I walk into these homes, I just want to take the moment in. There is definitely a lot, a lot <laughs> of details to see here. And I know you have a lot to see. So yes. before I let you go, I just want to show you my favorite room in the house. Awesome. Or my take favorite area in the house. So take let's me go. there. I'm already loving it. I'm getting so much beautiful airflow from all of the different it's, areas. It's so truly many windows. incredible. The indoor outdoor flow from every room, the incredible pocket windows, the natural light. I mean, there are so many amazing things about this house. And I'm going to show everybody later all of the amazing things about this house. But Adi wants to show me her favorite part. So let's yes, go take a look. Let's go. So I love to entertain. So for me, Ooh. The kitchen, family room area is definitely the heart of the home. Wow. So what's amazing about this one is that you have kitchen, family room, bar, the media room all in one space. So when you're entertaining, you have everybody in one area, which is incredible. Even though the house is so massive, yeah. it feels warm and connected. It's just con exactly. Which connected. I love. That's so important with these houses we were Correct. mentioning that it's just under 11,000 square feet. Yes. And a lot of times when developers build these homes, it feels very disconnected. Correct. And as I walked in, you're saying, I'm standing here with you and I'm like, I can see everything. If exactly. I was buying this house, I would be very connected to seeing my kids, my guests, uh, obviously exactly. serving at the bar. <laughs> so whether it's family time or party time or friends time or Super Bowl time, you literally have it all in one area. And then obviously, you know, this whole area, which is the heart of the home, mm -hmm. is still open to the main dining area to the formal living room, and it's open to the outdoors from every single room in the house, which to me is like Yeah, it's everything, it's especially in today's standard exactly. of living and what buyers are looking for, this is it. So I'm so excited to show our audience the rest of the house. Amazing. Thank you so much of for course. like showing me your favorite room. I'm gonna have to spend some time here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have so much fun here. Thank I will you. leave you. Thank you have so fun, much. Have fun, enjoy. Adi just left us, so it's our turn to explore the entire house. I love this kitchen. I'm gonna um, take you guys through all of the details. One of the things that makes this stone so special is that they've actually fabricated the cutting board and the sink right into the stone. Beautiful, texture is gorgeous. You have white oak panels. These are European with the black matte trim here. Beautiful. And then We've got what I call the Lamborghini doors. I say this all the time when they open up like that and it's a one touch that closes the panel. It's all matte and it's really beautiful. It's overlooking your gorgeous view outside. Around the corner, you have huge 36 inch Sub-Zero refrigerator with lots of drinks. It's staged for serving drinks and you've got your freezer, again, 36 inch. A lot of people these days want the freezers as big as the refrigerator. So you've got two 36 inch size with a wine fridge Sub-Zero in the center. 
which is really nice. You've got around the corner um, your Wolf oven and coffee maker, convection oven, and a beautiful butler's pantry, additional kitchen area here. Great light coming into the house. I'm gonna take us to the room right next to the front door. As we walked in earlier, you saw that we walked through a beautiful pivot oak door. And as you enter the beginning of the property here, you have this double height foyer, great chandelier piece above us. And again, light emanating from every angle. You've got a formal living room here. Take a seat, enjoy your view. <laughs> And it's very quiet. As I mentioned earlier, we're at the end of a cul-de-sac, so not much traffic going through. It's very quiet, very private. And you have fantastic views of the Valley Basin. We have most of the perimeter of the property is hedged beautifully, so it creates privacy. No one can see in, but you can see out. This wall, which happens to be a fireplace, divides the formal living room and the dining room. The dining room has really beautiful elements, very organic textures. As you can see, we've got white oak, very wide plank floors. The dining room opens up into the expansive backyard. What I love about this angle is you have no beam here. The glass panels just open up and it allows all of this beauty and air into the house. And you have a huge backyard, very private, great views, plenty of sitting areas dining, outdoor kitchen and barbecue, fantastic pool with a jacuzzi, and a slight Baja ledge, great for entertaining. The outdoor space is fantastic. I just want to stand here for a moment so you all can appreciate the architecture and angles of this house. Follow me. As we enter back into the property, we have a cabana here which is a nice individual cabana with its own bathroom. And wait, what do you see there? <laughs> Basketball court. So we've got a half court here, a little bit smaller than a half court, but if you need to play some basketball, you know you can do it here. Wrapping up the outside, we're gonna go inside back into the main area. This is our grand living room space. Earlier we saw the kitchen it transitions into a family room and a bar. We have this great natural stone here. I love the dark elements against the oak. It's one of my favorite palettes and colors in a house. And you've got this really great detail in the wood paneling. It's like a fluted detail. Additional wine fridge here. And hey, you can serve some drinks. there isn't anything in there. <laughs> That's okay. So around the bar area, we're gonna surprise you with a theater. So come on over. Very nice theater. You've got two rows of seating. Great soundproofing, because as I'm speaking, I don't hear any echoing. Very comfortable. Huge screen. I love it. And I also love the textures in here. You've got the gray panels, the dark gray panels with the fluted wood, white oak, vertical lines. It looks beautiful. Office is closed. You get to have your own personal home office right here. On the first level, we have an individual bedroom that is your home office and a great balcony. I love this view because if you're gonna be working from home, isn't that what you'd wanna be looking at? Great deck area. Let me take you outside, take a look at this view. I love these huge doors, they're gorgeous. Black metal ironwork, beautiful, nice and hefty, stately doors. Wrapping up the first level, you will see that we have a dedicated gym area, which is fun, every house needs a gym. This is fantastic because you can work out at home if the gym's closed. Give it a punch, I need a workout. Okay, so as we leave the gym, I wanna show you this beautiful powder room that the main level floor has. The quality in this house, again, really well done. 
beautiful plastered walls, great floors, little balconettes, and on the main level, we have this great little outdoor area. It's a connected piece that shows all of the levels through the glass here. I'm eager to go upstairs and see the master bedroom, so let's go check that out. I love the ceiling heights here, and when a house has a dramatic staircase like this, you just really have to create drama going up the staircase. It's surrounded by glass panels, bringing a ton of light in the house. And we're reaching a landing here on the second level that showcases all the bedrooms on the top floor. So this master is a great size. We've got a fantastic fireplace here. Again, it's tiled in this really great texture. And across from me, the bed is up against this gorgeous white oak wood paneling. It's got a nice black trim. Great detail. Gives it a really nice background. And it's quite large. Let's go check out the master closet. Great space. Again, nice white oak finish. Very expansive, great size. Plenty of room. Here's some nice shoe space. Great shoe racks. Love this. Really nice. Let's go check out the bathroom. Let's not forget that this master bedroom has an incredibly long balcony here. Fantastic. Pocketed doors, so this entire opening takes you out to your view. You can see all of the valley, beautiful palm trees, but still very private. Luxurious master bathroom, separate sinks. I love the sink detail here. Again, it's fabricated, stone, really nicely done. And you've got a huge shower. Clad in beautiful marble slab. <laughs> it's great. And you can see your views from here. Still quite private. You could really enjoy a very luxurious moment here in your shower. Let me take you out to the view. Beautiful light. Check out the views that you have from the top floor here, especially the master. This expansive balcony wraps around and you can see your outdoor space. Entertaining. It's awesome. <laughs> so we're wrapping up the second level. We're gonna go downstairs to the basement level and show you what we have there. We just left the master bedroom. It was gorgeous, huge, not disappointing at all. And as we come out to this area of the second floor, you see a great landing. It's fantastic for family, specifically because you have the remaining bedrooms right around this corner on this level. It works really well for families who have kids because you could all be on the same level, but be separated enough in all of the individual bedrooms on this floor. The other great thing about this level is from this angle, you have a great view of your staircase. And I absolutely love the wood fluted panels up against the staircase wall. It's a beautiful detail. And a house like this must have an elevator. So it does, and it goes to all three levels. We won't take it down now, but I'll take you to the lower level so you can see the rest of the house. Okay, we have reached the lower level, which is the last level we'll be showing you guys today. The staircase, what I love about it is it's an open air staircase. So even being at the lower level, you've got great light coming in and you still see your olive tree in your little outdoor space, the glass space. I showed you the elevator on the top level earlier. It comes to each floor and this is the elevator exit down on this level. So the car garage is pretty big. Uh, you've got about 2,000 square feet here. It's currently staged for a fun space, but what you can do with this space is create production studios if you'd like. You could section it off. You can do a music studio. You can create all kinds of 
you know, very interesting space if you wanted to divide it and have your cars on that side and your fun entertainment space or useful production space on this side. Again, 2,000 square feet downstairs. Pretty big space to work with. Whew, I'm exhausted. I had to walk through 11,000 square feet of this house tour, which was gorgeous, by the way. Um, so I'm so glad that you guys joined me today in this brand new construction, 2020. Current asking price on this property is 10,995,000. Definitely a great house. I would love to spend all day here with you guys, but I got stuff to do. So thank you for joining me on this house tour. I'm Tatiana Deravanesian with Dream Living LA, and I will see you soon. Thank you.